Watch you guys got another video on how to install Android apps natively on Windows 11. Now, this has been out for quite a while, but now it's stabilized and everything's working how it should be. I'm going to show you the steps you need to do to make sure you can install Android apps natively on Windows 11 in 2023. Now, there's a few requirements that you're going to need. You're going to need a minimum of 8 gigabytes of RAM at Windows 11. And also you can see here, 16 gigabytes of RAM is recommended. Storage needs to be an SSD, a solid state drive, which is recommended. And also process architecture needs to be 64-bit or ARM64. And you need to have virtual machine platform enabled on your system. Now, once you've done all this, you can basically install it. But first off, let me just show you where you can check to make sure your system requirements are okay. So go to your task manager here. Looking at the CPU, you can see we're running a Ryzen 7 3800X, which means we're OK. Also, virtualization is enabled. If this is disabled, you will need to enable this in the BIOS, and you will also need to install Virtual Machine Platform, which I'll show you in a second. So mine's already enabled. Make sure your memory is compatible. And we've got 32 gigabytes here, so we've got plenty of RAM uh, for this task. And we have got an NVMe drive on here, so I know everything is working exactly how it should be. Next up, what we're going to do here is we're going to install Virtual Platform and Hyper-V. So let's go ahead and do that. So open up the Start button and in the search box type uh, Turn Windows Features On or Off or just put Turn and it should allow you to open up the Windows Features area. Inside here, make sure you enable the Virtual Machine Platform. This is important because this needs to be enabled and installed for it to work correctly. So you should see it here saying virtual machine platform. I'm as blind as a bat and I can't see it, but it's got to be down here somewhere. There it is under the Vs. Come on, come down. It's down here somewhere. There it is right there. So enable this feature. And once you've got this enabled, uh, put the check mark in, click OK, and this will then go off and install it. It's doing a search for the required files needed. And once it's found them, it's going to install them onto the system. You will need to restart your PC, but before you hit restart, we're going to do Hyper-V as well, just to make sure everything is running OK. So go back into the Windows feature here and put the check mark in Hyper-V and click OK and let that also search for the files and install them onto your PC. Once that's done, you can then restart your PC and get back to the desktop and then we can continue uh, from there. So there we go. So now hit the Restart Now button. Once you get back to the desktop, open up the Microsoft Store and do a search for Amazon App Store. And this will allow you to do a search for it and install it on your system. You can see it right here, Amazon App Store. So just do a search for it, and then we can install this onto our computer. So let's go ahead and click on Install here and uh, get this installed on the PC. And it's going to download it and get it all ready for us. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a very quick process. There's not a lot of files to download here, about a gigabyte in size. So let's go ahead and click on the Download. And there will be another step that we need to do which make sure you are signed up with a Amazon account because you need to have an Amazon account to run this uh, correctly. So make sure you signed in there and you've got an account set up. If you don't, you can do it at this stage. I will show you in a second. So it's just going to go off and download those files. Now, once that's done, we'll be able to open this up and then we'll be able to go through the Amazon App Store and install all the applications that you want, games and other things like that, which are all based on Android. So all of your applications or your Android games and things like that can be played natively on Windows 11 by, via this method here. It's very simple and easy to do. So it says almost done. Now we can open up the Amazon uh, App Store. And all you'll need to do here is follow the on-screen display. Basically, either create a, an account or you can sign in. You can see this error code here. That's because we need to restart the PC. So I'm going to quickly restart the PC. Uh, make sure everything is working okay. Now you can go back in and uh, open that program up and sign in. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, before we go ahead and run the actual program here, I'm gonna make sure that Windows is fully updated here to make sure everything is working okay. And we've got all the latest patches and fixes for our operating system because things can stop working properly when you don't update it. Again, down here in the library section, make sure all of the applications are updated. This will make sure that the Windows subsystem for Android is fully updated and you're using the very latest version. 
make sure you're using the latest version of Windows 11 uh, for this to work correctly and everything should go smoothly. And uh, once we've got all this updated, as you can see here, we'll be able to open this up and uh, then sign in to our account. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can now see it's opening up here. And uh, once this opens up, it will populate and you will be able to log in to your Amazon account. So just let this open up and get ready. And once this is done, you should see a window looking like this, Amazon App Store. You can now sign in or create an account from here. And once this is done, you'll be able to log in and use all of your Android applications on your Windows 11 PC. So let's quickly sign in here. And you should see something looking like this once you've signed in. And you can download and install all your applications from this location. Just as you would with uh, any sort of Android device, you just click on it and install it and you can then play it. That's simple. Now also the Windows subsystem for Android has got some settings here that you can mess around with and uh, you can turn this feature on or off and you can also do a bunch of other stuff inside here and add all your apps. All your apps will be listed here once you install them and uh, that's it. So as you can see, very simple and easy to get set up. And uh, basically the Windows subsystem uh, for Android will allow you to play all your games and all of your applications which are Android based on your Windows 11 system. So really simple, easy uh, method for getting that up and running. And uh, there is other methods out there like BlueStacks and other things like that that you can use. If you want to use those methods, by all means do so. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.